Hi friends, good morning. Today I am going to show a small trick about how you can add new custom fields on Odoo e-commerce product template. So let's start from our website where I jump into shop page and I have this product in my kit. This is my standard field and this is the extra form i have added so over here if i want to add extra field which is uh, you know on my product template how can i do let's take a look very quickly so i am going into my backend product template and will add a custom field on my product template so this is my product banner which is shown over here and if I want to add any extra field I will take a help of studio field so with studio let's say I am adding a new field give it a name as a brand And then I would like to add a new field which is maybe you know a file give it a name additional product information which Oru however gives uh, using the document uh, on in the product but uh, this is additional just I am taking an example so I am closing this interface now so I am uploading any file anything over here and I am giving brand as a my brand so when I add this field in my product nothing is visible over here right so if i want to add these two new fields on my website what i can do i have to enable developer mode so i am enabling developer mode and i am straight away going into website in configuration you will find this websites menu in this websites menu you will find product page extra field over here you can add the new field like this and once you go back and reload your website the information will be available so you can see this how easy it is to add new field great right very easy so now you can add any extra field on your template and with this medium on website settings you can add those field on your product page now people can also open this and download this whatever file you want to add the second thing is Odoo also gives some hidden properties in this page in sales side you have this e-commerce shop right now there are some hidden fields if I go over here open show invisible elements inside sales you will find the extra fields over here and the field which I am talking about is I need to add that and that field coming from extra field like uh, e-commerce description so if I want to have e-commerce description like sales description we have so what I do is I go to sales this will become my you know sales description but for e-commerce if I want to give any extra description I can directly add over here so this is the invisible field or extra field which is available but which we are not using okay and I have added it here as well Odoo also gives
some more feature so let's see one by one i'm closing this over here now i will get e-commerce extra field description you know so i can put any extra information this is extra information which is only part of my website so when i load this on my website it will appear like this so any extra information which you want to publish you can do like this i can change the property to a port also it will display like that see so this is a separate description the normal product description is always available here normal sales description is here so when i add that which is part of my product anyway like this and this is e-commerce now if i am adding any new you know snippet over here on my website just editing this and i want to launch maybe this particular tabular format I don't want this and I want a new block to appear this tab so now if I go to my backend in the editable mode So this there is a new field description for the website once i add that field now all extra information which are available on my web front is available over here now if i want to make any edit over here and save it now once I refresh it will all change from here see so now whatever additional information you have added you can over uh, you can control here via description for the website hidden elements like extra fields which are available from studio you can drag and you can control this now if I don't want this image you can even Currently, uh, we can edit the content, the remove and everything will be controlled over here on the website. So hope uh, this will help uh, many e-commerce enthusiasts to uh, use Odoo uh, with additional field to add on a product template as well as uh, the additional you know, information via snippet can be controlled from backend. Thank you guys.